Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix unsupported secure boot in Windows 11 and Windows 10. If you encounter the secure boot state unsupported, then don't worry. Here, I will guide you through the troubleshooting steps to help you resolve this problem and get Windows 11 up and running smoothly. So, let's get started. Power on your system or restart your computer. During the boot process, you will need to press a specific key to access the BIOS or UEFI settings. The key to access BIOS or UEFI is usually displayed on the boot screen. Here some common keys are Delete, F2, F10, F12 or Escape. Quickly press the indicated key to enter the BIOS or UEFI before operating system loads. Once you are in the BIOS settings, use the arrow key on your keyboard to navigate through the option. Look for a section related to security, boot option or advanced. In the security or boot options section, find the secure boot option. It may also be referred to as secure boot control, boot security or something similar. If secure boot is currently disabled, you should see an option to enable it. Select the Enabled or Enable Secure Boot option. After enabling Secure Boot, you might need to configure it further. Look for settings called Key Management, Custom Secure Boot Keys or similar. These settings allows you to manage Secure Boot Keys. Some systems require you to import or enroll Secure Boot Keys to ensure the system only boots with trusted and signed components. If this is the case, follow the on-screen instructions to enroll the necessary keys. Once you have enabled Secure Boot and made any necessary configuration, save your changes by selecting Save and Exit or Exit option in BIOS or UEFI menu. Confirm your selection to save changes and exit from the BIOS setup utility. If you are lucky, then this simple method will help to fix this problem. If the TPM is disabled on your computer, you will encounter the secure boot state unavailable or unsupported issue when installing or upgrading to Windows 11. In this case, you will need to go to your PC's BIOS or UEFI settings. Once you are in the BIOS or UEFI settings, now use the arrow key on your keyboard to navigate through the option. Look for a section related to security, advanced, chipset or security device. In the security or advanced section, look for an option related to trusted platform module or TPM configuration. This is usually depending on your computer setup, you may find option like TPM on or off or enable TPM. Once you have enabled TPM, save your changes by selecting the save and exit or exit option in the BIOS or UEFI menu. Confirm your selection to save changes and exit from the BIOS setup utility. After your computer restarts, log into Windows. Place the Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. Type tpm.msc in Run dialog box and press Enter. The TPM Management Console will open. If TPM is successfully enabled, you will see the information about TPM version and TPM status. If not, then in the pop-up window, Navigate to the Action tab from top toolbar and select Prepare the TPM. After that, restart your computer and check if the unsupported secure boot issue disappears. If your hardware supports TPM 2.0 and UEFI with secure boots but you still encounter the error, it might be due to the outdated firmware. Visit your computer's manufacturer website and look for BIOS or UEFI update. Installing the latest firmware might add support for Windows 11 and resolve the secure boot unsupported error. Here's a complete tutorial on how to update BIOS or UEFI firmware.
compatibility support module legacy or csm can conflict with secure boot to choose uefi as the bios mode first you need to convert the disk partition style from mbi to gpt if you don't know how to convert the partition style from mbi to gpt then here's a certain tutorial for you after converting from mbi to gpt partition style open the bios page on your computer choose boot sequence from left panel the exact steps to change the settings may vary depending on your computer manufacturer and BIOS or UEFI version. Check the UEFI option under boot list option. Save the changes and restart your computer. After rebooting, check once, hopefully your problem will be solved. Checking the correct boot order in BIOS. Restart your computer. During the boot process, press the specific key to access the BIOS or UEFI settings. Use the arrow key on your keyboard or mouse cursor to navigate through the option. Look for a section related to boot, boot configuration, boot order, or something similar. The naming might vary depending on your motherboard manufacturer. In the boot section, you should see a list of boot devices with their respective order. The first device on the list is the one that computer will attempting to boot from first. Note, the boot devices may include UEFI, boot device name, entries, such as UEFI colon, Windows Boot Manager or UEFI colon disk manufacturer name and disk SNID. Verify that the UEFI boot option such as UEFI colon Windows Boot Manager is listed as first boot device. If it's not, then you can usually change the boot order by using arrow key to move the UEFI boot option top of the list. Once you have verified the correct boot order, save configuration changes and exit from the BIOS. Confirm your selection to save changes and exit from the BIOS setup utility. Your computer will now attempt to boot from the first boot device on UEFI boot order list. Typically, the UEFI Windows Boot Manager which will load the Windows operating system. After rebooting, check once, hopefully your problem will be solved. I hope one of these solutions resolved your problem. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share, we need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.